I got us a strange one in here. Came from another shop and complaint was overheating, transmission overheating, uh, in tow haul mode only. And uh, I, I don't know that it was only in tow haul. The customer only complained about it then. But I don't know if maybe he wasn't just watching it. He might have been watching it all the time afterwards, but I think he was only watching it while he's towing. But regardless, uh, his complaint was it overheating in tow, mall, tow haul mode, pulling the trailer. And he said that you can get it, he got it up to 288 degrees and it shut the vehicle off. So, uh, we got it from the other shop after uh, it's been a while and they couldn't figure out what was going on and I said well maybe it's not overheating for real and got it over here got to looking at the fluid as hot as they say it was getting for as long as they say that it was getting it, as hot as it was it just didn't look like it I mean the fluid is just cherry red has no smell to it. Pan had very, very little in it, and uh, just didn't look like that thing was overheating. And uh, as we get into this, you're going to see what we ended up finding and the process that we took getting there, and you just see what what we got, and it's just kind of a little strange, so. Here we go. All right, I'm trying to get some baseline readings here. Let's see our transmission temp it says is 197, 194. On the dash, you'll see it says it's 180. Uh, Tranny pan down here. And the cooler out here. And fifty six. Seventy two. Somewhere around in there. Temp 192 right now. And we're gonna go for a ride. And I found a way to make this happen really quick. So that's what we're gonna do here. So if we can get some good pictures of this. Now the customer's complaint is transmission overheats in tow haul mode. So the first thing I'm gonna do is turn the tow haul on. get it to sometimes act up just like this um, the highest I got it up to like this without him towing a trailer 
behind it was uh, 263 for just a split second. But if I do it this other way, I got it up to 270 a minute ago. He says he's got it up to as high as 288 and shut the vehicle off. And see, it's just steadily climbing. And you go out here and you drive that this thing and it'll, uh, it'll just keep creeping up there. But the way that you can get this thing to go do it really quick. So we'll pull this down in manual mode. We're going to keep it in fourth gear. And within a mile or two, once I get on the freeway here, I should be able to get it up to about 270. transmission is not really getting that hot. <clears> the <throat> strange thing is it's not throwing any over temp codes. Whether it really is overheating or not, it should be throwing an over temp code. Especially if it gets hot enough to shut the vehicle down. Says it were two fifty one, two sixty seven down there. We've already dropped two sixty six.
детская. I can touch it just fine. Not even hot to the touch. So, it appears that we got a bad techum. We shall get a techum on here and uh, see what we got. We'll All right, techum's replaced, programmed. And we're starting off cold. Started off warmed up before. Let's see how quickly this changes and if it uh, screws up. Toha mode on. straight to the manual mode and uh, go to fourth gear Let's see if we can get this to heat up quickly like it did before
use this fourth gear. Run into about 68 miles an hour. I don't know. Customer told me that uh, when he hauls a trailer and he puts it in fourth gear, it climbs quickly. Uh, I would imagine. His gas mileage has to be horrible. I've already gone through twenty dollars worth of gas in this thing. unit that's been overheat. Let's see if we can see anything. It's definitely not been getting that hot. Uh, from another shop. It's been out there since September. Supposedly overheating that bad. There's no stinking way. We've got good flow rate out at the cooler. We're doing two gallons a minute. That's plenty.
Yep, chisel time. The last one I had like that did not want to come out. I think it's going to come either. Thank goodness. Alright, let's see what we see on the back side of our stator here. And it's got the zip kit in it. See how there's nothing out of the ordinary on the pump. I think what we're doing at this point, and they're already looking for a core. We're going to swap out trannies just to prove that it ain't nothing to do with the tranny. And I just don't have a clue what is giving us our problem here. Why it's saying it's overheating when it's not. don't expect to see anything with the clutches. It's a really good working unit. The torque converter has very minor what almost looks like discoloration but I don't know. It's it's not not much if it is as any. And the radio is playing out there. So I'm not going to be able to take you out there. Take you out there in the morning and when nobody's here. You want to take a look at that.
Really curious as to what this problem is. I'm gonna get down in there. to me. Come on. All the feed is going through the pump in there. Now, buddy, anyway. Yeah, the only thing I do see is a snap ring in the wrong spot. Don't see that being an issue, but it was in the wrong spot. Oh. Here may be a problem. Snap ring has popped out. Create some extra heat. But still, the clutches don't look that bad, and their fluid doesn't look that bad. But that's all I got to go on right now. Get this pop back down in there. In fact, I might see if I can get a different center support for this. Maybe it's. This is enough. I don't know. I think I'm going to have him get me a different center support. And these are a little burnt. I think that's what we're going to do. You know what? That is uh that's sitting right over where the temp sensor is too. The center support? Mm -hmm. Let me 
go see what they want to do. And, uh, all right, here's the torque converter. I don't know how well this is going to show up. Probably not very well at all. But there's just some slight discoloration right here where the clutch is at. Not horrible, but you can tell it's kind of a yellow tint, brown tint. So, we can get another converter for it just to be on the safe side. Yeah, this is my theory of what's happening here. You can see that this uh, center support sits right here, snap rings right here. Clutches are draining into right here, which is coming off right here in this area. This wraps around, sits right there. That temp sensor is, let me just get this on here how it belongs. That temp sensor is sitting right here. And I think it's draining all the way down. Hitting this. Running down around through here. And it's running right onto the temp sensor. That's the only thing that makes any sense as to why the temp sensor is getting hot. But the rest of the fluid is not. So what it's doing is it's running down here, getting into the pan, run through the cooler, and it's cooling down. But it's only hot right here. And it's getting super hot. That's the only thing that I can see that explains why this fluid is not turned colors because it's not staying hot except for right in here from what I can tell so that's my theory and that's what I'm sticking with we'll see what happens when we get this unit okay so I don't know if I got a good view of it before that's what the snap ring looked like when I got it popped out on this one side over here and these are the clutches I mean they're not horrible but they've been dragging and they are burnt so we are gonna replace them, replace this center support hopefully cure this thing alright we are rebuilt on the road Hall in Manuel Fourth.
exit took before we were running 256, something like that, 260. So far, it's looking pretty good. I'm going to uh, give this thing an extensive test drive, and uh, we'll see what we got after that. All right, we're probably 60 miles in. The highest I've gotten it up to so far is 178, and that was in uh, stop and go traffic. Pretty hard. We're doing about 78 miles an hour right now. We're running 163. I get up here pretty close to the shop now. I get within probably three miles of the shop. I'm gonna put it back into manual fourth and still run about 70 miles an hour. We're gonna see how hot it gets. do this within two miles I'd be at uh, 270 so we'll see what this one gets in three miles and the traffic is slowing down not being able to keep up my 70 miles an hour
so looks like we shall call this one good